Months have passed since the devastation of Hurricane Mitch, but scars from this deadly storm are still visible to volunteers of Northwest Medical Teams as they hike to remote Honduran villages. At each stop, the team comes face to face with a health care system still straining from the after effects of a disaster. Sometimes they'll have sweats with dengue fever after the fever. In four to six weeks, most disasters move on to a rehabilitative or a subacute phase of problems that then can go on for months, and in this case, uh, for years after Mitch. When you come into a community and walk house to house, you find the sickest people still in their houses because uh, they're not likely to walk out to the nearest clinic. But on this day, a mother searches desperately for the medical team, fearing her child is near death. Like yesterday, the day before yesterday, it was like mucus of blood also. Earlier, the local health nurse told this mother to go to the hospital in Choloteca because the child was too far gone. But the mother doesn't know the way to the hospital. Now, Dr. Huff feels the child is too near death to risk a three-hour truck ride on washed-out roads. He decides to take the family back to the village health house. The cure is a simple packet of oral rehydration solution. But the team must also convince the local nurse that she can save this child's life. What's going to save this child is getting those fluids in, and they won't be able to... They won't be able to do an IV at the hospital. You know, this baby will probably die within three or four hours. But uh, there's no reason why this baby can't make it. Slowly, the local nurse is convinced, and the life-saving procedure begins. The other part of this is once the child is down to taking water regularly, she takes it until she's full or until the kid pees. For the people looking on, the cure seems like such a simple fix for a serious problem. The simpleness in it is if the child just has enough fluid, then it can start circulating its blood and start healing itself and getting better. Um, the, it doesn't matter how much antibiotic you put in this child, how much medicine you put in the child, if, if it has no fluids, the child's going to die. Days later, the team pays a house call on their young patient. Though still recovering, the child is very much alive. The kids, in the face of infection, they die from the dehydration more than the infection itself. Yeah. No respiro rapido. No. Si. Respirations are much better. No calentura. The baby's gonna make it now. You know, the baby's gonna live. 